The Salvatore Ferragamo brand evokes a sense of beauty, traditional craftsmanship and an assurance of quality and comfort. Salvatore Ferragamo is one of the longest standing and renowned heritage fashion houses and when we think of Ferragamo, the iconic and revolutionary stunning shoes come to mind. Undeniably, some of the most beautiful shoes have been designed and presented by Ferragamo over the decades and the likes of Marilyn Monroe and Audrey Hepburn were known to have a fondness for Ferragamo shoes. Welcome to Creme de Luxury, the place for an exceptional luxury lifestyle. Salvatore Ferragamo was born in Bonito, a small town in Avellino in the south of Italy, a remote town not too far from Nepal. Salvatore was the 11th of 14 children and it's said he had a passion for shoes from an early age. Salvatore is said to have made his first pair of shoes age 9 for his sister's confirmation. Salvatore was so determined to be a shoemaker he started his career first serving as an apprentice to a shoemaker in a shop where each step of making the shoe was solely done by hand. Salvatore then moved to Nepal in 1909 intent on refining his knowledge and craftsmanship and learning accurate methods of measuring, fitting and the aesthetics of the shoes. After studying shoemaking for a year in the pools, the young entrepreneur returned to Benito and set up a workshop based on a made-to-measure and repair shop in his parents' house with six work assistants. Under his leadership, they produced custom-fitted, distinctively designed shoes. In 1914, Salvatore decided to emigrate to Boston where one of his brothers worked in a cowboy boot factory. And after a while, Ferragamo convinced his brothers to move to California, residing in Santa Barbara. It was then, in 1919, Ferragamo opened a boot shop. And four years later, in 1923, opened another boot shop in Hollywood, in Boulevard Las Palmas. This momentous step propelled him towards his richly deserved renowned reputation, especially as all the affluent celebrities and socialites of that era often frequented his shop. After refining his craft in the United States and following more than 10 successful years in Southern California, Salvatore Ferragamo returned to his homeland in 1927, settling in Florence. With his company already established and renowned overseas, he was ready to break into the world of fashion in Italy. In order to do this, Ferragamo opened a workshop in the Via Manelli, and in 1938, Salvatore Ferragamo was able to purchase the elegant 13th century Palazzo Spiniferoni, one of the most historic buildings of the city, which became his workplace and showroom, in addition to having the company headquarters based there, as well as opening the Florence store in that building. Here, Salvatore Ferragamo focused on the study of the creation of women's footwear and really honed in and finessed his craft. In 1938, the first directly operated store was opened in both Rome and Florence and then in London. In 1948, Salvatore Ferragamo opened the first store in New York and soon after, Salvatore Ferragamo designed his very first handbag in 1949 with the initial purpose of the bag being to carry his tools. However, today, Salvatore Ferragamo bags are viewed as a symbol of status amongst high society. The popular Gansini mechanism, shaped like a backwards horseshoe, with the trademark logo, also called the Gansino, first appeared in a bag created by Ferragamo in 1958, and has since then featured on handbags, belts, shoes and more. The hook has become synonymous with the identity of the Salvatore Ferragamo brand today. Legend has it that the inspiration for the shape and design came from the wrought iron gates of the Palazzo Spiniferoni at the company headquarters. When Ferragamo passed away in 1960, Wanda Ferragamo, his wife and his six children later took over the company and played a significant role in the brand's evolution. In 1965, the house premiered leather goods and ready-to-wear apparel collections, designed especially for women by Giovanna Ferragamo. Simultaneously, it was in 1965, under the direction of Fiamma Ferragamo, the company began the production of Salvatore Ferragamo's famous bags. Four years later, the Gansino made its first appearance on the catwalk. The Gansino handbag soon became famous, and it was a must-have for all fashionistas. The iconic design has been reworked in new versions and materials and is still very much on trend today. The 1970s saw the company diversify into men's clothing and footwear. And in the 90s, Ferragama eyewear and fragrances were also launched. 
Today, the Salvatore Ferragamo brand has evolved with an impressive international presence and are a fashion powerhouse. The Salvatore Ferragamo house create various luxury products, from shoes, bag, clutches, eyewear, ready-to-wear collections, perfume shoes for men and women alike, providing a complete look to its loyal clientele. Celebrities love Ferragamo bags, not only for their great looks, but also for the ease with which they can be carried and the amount of space they tend to contain. Fashion enthusiasts and celebrities like Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon are often seen with Ferragamo designer handbags, adorned on their arms, both on the red carpet and off of it. Salvatore Ferragamo produces spacious and comfortable bags, season after season, in exotic skins and leathers with their iconic hardware and an absolute vibrant and rich aesthetic. Today, the fashion house boasts up to 500 stores around the world and is adored for quality of its products and its creativity. Their collection continues to celebrate the icons and traditions of the past and are emblematic of the Italian fashion house. So today, let's take you through the top iconic Salvatore Ferragamo handbags to add to your investment collection. And at number three, we have the Salvatore Ferragamo Vara bag. The success of Salvatore Ferragamo's iconic Vara shoes spurred the creation of the iconic Vara bag. The Vara bow was first developed in 1978 and quickly became a signature star for the Italian fashion house. Created by Salvatore Ferragamo's daughter Fiamma, the Vara bow was a cross grain bow with gold hardware for mid-height heels. The Vara bag is a testament to Ferragamo's commitment to artisanal craftsmanship. Debuted circa 2012, the Vara bag is a dainty, low-key bag that doesn't have many bells and whistles, but features the Salvatore Ferragamo signature cross-grain bow clasp ornament with a gleaming gold tone logo plaque hardware on the front flap and offers a youthful and vibrant aesthetic. It is a sleek and sophisticated design. The Vara bag opens up to one compartment with a slip pocket. A versatile bag, perfect for any day appointments or evening dates due to its long chain strap. Some Vara bags feature an adjustable and leather strap option, but it still allows you to carry the bag crossbody, over the shoulder or can be worn as a clutch with the, with the chain tucked in. The Vara bag also features a compact boxy silhouette shape and has a top flap with a magnetic snap closure. The Vara is made from treated Safiano leather, giving it a sturdy feel and shape. The Vara bag is also available in rich colours and offered in a size small and medium. In 2018, Salvatore Ferragamo reimagined and combined the iconic elements of its legacy and heritage, combining it with a modern style and design in the form of a bag connecting past, present and future under the Vara Rainbow collection. The new Ferragamo Vara Rainbow bag is even more stylish and modern than the previous iterations and featured five mini-sized bags in a ultra-feminine colour palette. The outside of the Rainbow Vara bag collection was more luxurious, focusing on detail and the linear silhouette, with the option of an exterior back pocket, which opened up to a gusset revealing a series of multicolour compartments that pay tribute to another iconic motif of the Ferragamo DNA, Rainbow, which was a colourful wedge with golden kid skin straps, which Ferragamo created in 1938 for Judy Garland. The Far Rainbow collection tells a tale of modernity using excerpts from the Salvatore Ferragamo brand route in a way that is most talented by the craftsman. The Vara bag from the Vara Rainbow collection is compact and easy to carry, combining style and functionality in this unique way. The Ferragamo quality and workmanship is effortlessly defined in this Vara bag, making it a must consider. The Vara bag is both classy and classic and definitely cements its place in the archive of iconic Ferragamo bags. And at number two, we have the Salvatore Ferragamo Sofia bag. First introduced in Ferragamo's Spring Summer 2009 collection, the Salvatore Ferragamo Sofia bag is a signature bag for the Italian brand. This sophisticated handbag was named after the Italian actress Sofia Loren, famous during the 60s. Hailing from southern Italy, Loren shared a bond with Ferragamo due to their shared Neapolitan heritage. The beautiful actress became an instant friend and lifelong client of the designer due to her adoration 
for Ferragamo stilettos, heels and pumps. The Sofia bag features a front flap with the gleaming signature Gensino Turnlock fastening closure. A single top handle bag, the Sofia includes a detachable and adjustable shoulder strap and protective base studs. The interior of the bag features one zipped pocket and two slip pockets. The Sofia also has a zipped pocket at the back of the bag. The Sofia was originally available in four sizes, from mini to a large. The bag was effortlessly crafted in various materials like canvas and textile, and also various leathers including exotic leathers like crocodile and python skin. Due to the shoulder strap offering, the Sofia is a fully versatile bag allowing you to carry it on your shoulder, on your arms, or you can remove the strap entirely to wear it as a handbag. Each bag takes six to eight hours to be made with strict quality control. The impeccable Florence saddle making stitching forms the base of the Sophia bag and the ribbon procedure makes the bag flawless. The whole silhouette is beautifully structured but semi slouchy and is definitely a worthy bag option to take you from day to night. Due to the timeless and iconic status of the bag at the time, in 2017 the Sophia was reimagined and revitalised in a new edition called the Sophia Soft. The signature style got a makeover with a more soft and supple leather giving the bag an irregular, innovative new shape. The incredible softness of this new leather was treated with tanning techniques and natural washing that has been used for over 50 years. The soft Sophia opens up to two compartments for all your daily essentials and an extra exterior back pocket for more space. The interior is lined in suede and leather to perfectly fit the outer offering. And also in early spring 2018, Salvatore Ferragamo launched the Sofia Rainbow handbag series, cleverly blending the brand's classic elements with modern feminine charm. The new Sofia Rainbow collection was available in two sizes and came with a more vibrant and playful colour scheme, including colours like light blue, milky white, a light purple and a jasmine white. The body of the bag presented a sophisticated, appealing contrast effect when opened by the zippers on both sides. The bag opened up to a number of organ accordion-like compartments rendered in different colours. This series paid homage to Mr Salvatore Ferragamo's classic rainbow colour wedge, specially created for Judy Garland in 1938. At the moment, the Salvatore Ferragamo Sofia bag is not available on the Fashion House's website. It seems it's not in production anymore or at this moment in time. But a bag as classic and iconic as this from the Ferragamo Fashion House, who is to say it will not make a future comeback or produce another collection series? However, you can still find this beauty on third party websites that offer multiple luxury brand options at full retail price or on the pre-loved market for a fraction of the price depending on the condition of the bag. The Salvatore Ferragamo Sofia bag is so iconic and is definitely one to consider for your investment collection. If you have not already, please like our video, share and hit that subscribe button. And at number one, debuted in the 90s, it has actually been very hard to pinpoint the launch date of this bag. The most iconic Salvatore Ferragamo bag goes by so many names. Hailed as Ferragamo's version of the Hermes Kelly, this bag is sometimes referred to as the Kelly Gansini, the Lady Gansini, or the Gansini two-way top handle flat bag. If anyone actually knows what it's officially called, please leave us a comment below. This top handle flat bag features the iconic Gansini flip-lock closure in a gold tone on the front flap. The bag also has the classic, old school, elegant silhouette with a top handle like the Hermes Kelly and a classic style overhanging flap. The bag opens up to an interior that is fabric lined with two spacious compartments with slightly extendable sides in an accordion style to carry all your essentials in addition to a small zipper pocket. The bag also comes with a removable long leather shoulder strap so you can wear it across the body, attach the top of the bag by the little Gansini hardware rings. A perfectly classy, classic and sophisticated bag, this two-way top handle bag will make a lovely and attractive day bag for business or as an evening bag for pleasure. 
This top handle bag is a minimal yet sophisticated bag with modern lines and a very feminine and appealing allure. This top handle bag also features base feet and is available in different colours and leathers including lizard leather. This is a truly gorgeous bag with a classic, elegant, sophisticated, exquisite look that will elevate any outfit. A versatile bag you can wear in your arms, on your shoulder, as a crossbody look or carry from the top handle. Currently, this top handle bag is available only as part of the prestigious Ferragamo Creations collection, which is usually a re-release of bags that can be found under the iconic Creations section on the Salvatore Ferragamo website. The Creations section is a celebration of a series of products in limited editions, numbered replicas of pieces from the historical Salvatore Ferragamo archive for men and women, which make accessible objects that have made the history of fashion under the Ferragamo Fashion House. The re-editions are faithful to the originals in terms of shape, colours, materials, details and finishes, as quoted from the Ferragamo website. But you can also find a litter of these beautiful bags still available at retail price from third-party luxury retailers or on the pre-loved market in good condition for a fraction of the price. Although not an obvious choice for the more modern fashionista, Salvatore Ferragamo's history, heritage and longevity has made it a brand very popular amongst celebrities and the in-the-know socialites and fashionistas who certainly are aware of the long-standing reputation of the Salvatore Ferragamo fashion house. With its classic vintage look, this top handle bag is 100% a great option, especially for the vintage fashionistas. This iconic, classic, beautiful bag is definitely one to consider for your investment collection if you're looking for quality, craftsmanship, luxury, under the Ferragamo Fashion House. Aside from our recommendations, please remember that many factors can determine how valuable a bag is. From the materials used and the colours, in addition to whether the bag is seasonal or not. An investment into luxury designer handbags does not only have to be in terms of expected monetary value that could be gained in the future. Investment can be in terms of quality, material and durability of the bag as well as the general pleasure that you hope to get from obtaining the bag. These things are also important because luxury bags, when invested in properly, are most certainly made to last you a lifetime, whether or not you decide to sell it in the future. We will see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye from Creme de Luxury.